good morning. This is Lois DeWitt. We're having a sketch class this morning, and we're supposed to go out to the beach. Um, looks like it's going to rain, so I don't know if that's going to happen. But what is going to happen is I'm going to make a little Swedish coffee cake to take so that we can enjoy our coffee with this. Of course, lunch. you can find this recipe in my Pop It in the Toaster Oven cookbook. It's on page 205, and I just want to read to you what I wrote about this recipe. It says, this recipe is an adaptation of the little cakes my Swedish grandmother used to make. These little coffee cakes are rich tasting, minus the butter. So I've changed it around a little bit from the very, very rich cakes that my grandmother used to make long. And so the first thing I'm going to do is to preheat my toaster oven to 350 degrees. Then I'm going to assemble my ingredients. Okay, so these are my ingredients for the Swedish coffee cakes. And what I have here is a cup of flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, a half a cup of sugar, and a tablespoon of vegetable oil. Then I have three quarters of a cup of low-fat buttermilk, one lightly beaten egg. Here's three quarters of a cup of ground pecans and over here is a teaspoon of vanilla. And then I just have some sifted confectioner sugar. I think that is probably about one cup and that's going to go on later sprinkled on the top of these cakes. Um, I also have a bowl for mixing. Over here. And of course over here I have my trusty 8 by 8 by 2 cake pan that I have oil generously and then a spoon for mixing. I have to say I'm looking at this in these ingredients and I think I might just take a picture of this assemblage of ingredients just because I guess I can joke about it because I'm Swedish but this is so very very white looking <laughs> and so very tame in ingredients. There's no spices here or high flavors I am going to add salt to taste, however. I think this might make a really nice tonal pencil or watercolor. Sort of reminds me of the white rabbit in the snow picture that I did years ago. Okay, so I've combined all of the ingredients in a bowl, just put them right in, and now I'm going to mix them all around until the batter is nice and smooth pour the ingredients right into the pan. Okay, now the Swedish coffee cake batter is going to go into the toaster oven for 30 minutes at 3. Around 30 minutes I'm going to insert a toothpick in the middle of this cake if to see if it's done and if the toothpick comes out clean then I know that the cake the is coffee done. cake is done. Looks really good and smells wonderful so now the final touch is a sprinkling of powdered sugar. Mm, and there's the Swedish coffee cake, all done. A great accompaniment to a cup of coffee.